Dan, we made reference to when Packard kind of came to its end. Well, this is the end, and it is a unique car, but not necessarily, especially this front end, a pretty car. It's, it's a rather an oddball looking. It is strange, and this was the 1958 year. Uh, earlier, Packard had merged with Studebaker. They discovered they didn't have the money to come out with a full Packard size body. And so for this last year, they took basically the Studebaker body and they wanted to modify it in some way so that people say, well, it's a Packard, it's not a Studebaker. So they changed the front end, it's an add-on front end. They changed the back, they put real leather upholstery inside. It is a quality car and they were trying to get a European sporty look. Uh, it actually has the Studebaker engine in it, 289 cubic inch, I believe, and it has a supercharger on it, the Paxson supercharger. So it's a very interesting car, but Studebaker people wanted to buy the Studebaker, and Packard people wanted a bigger car. And so I think they only sold about 588 of these for their swan song. Uh, there are 200 still left in the country, I'm told. Collectors find them to be interesting. It's the end of the run, so that's always interesting. And it does have a pretty strange, interesting look to it. Yeah, and kind of an interesting name. People refer to this as the Packard Baker, which was not necessarily a compliment. No, that was not complimentary to Packard Baker, but it was quite accurate. Yeah. But the Packard Hawk was the model. 